been crazy. He was Bader Hari. Yeah, he was killing everybody. Yes. Bader Hari. Like, oh, he's a bad. Bader Hari is a dangerous guy. He's. <laughs> He had a punch that broke skulls and a cold stare that took the soul of his opponents. Bad Hari was literally the baddest man on the planet. This kickboxer managed to knock nearly 100 people out cold and was named the king of fighting. Today, we will look at the career of perhaps the most terrifying fighting machine that even Mike Tyson acknowledged as a bad mother The monster. In the quarterfinal bout of the 2008 K1 World Grand Prix, Hari had the opportunity to face an all-time great in Peter Ertz. The Dutch Lumberjack is a three-time K1 World Grand Prix champion and holds a record of over 100 victories. Ertz was in trouble from early on, but surprisingly managed to make it out of the first round. And in the second, Hari was determined to either break him really badly or send him to the Shadow Realm. And after many knockdowns and a bad beating, the referee showed some mercy. In 2005, Bad Hari took a brutal loss to Germany's Stefan Leko via a spinning back kick knockout. Just a few months later, the Dutch Moroccan fighter would rematch Leko in hopes of getting revenge. The first minutes saw both fighters being at the top of their game, not wanting to give much respect. And in the second, a spinning back heel kick to the head sent Leko to the canvas unconscious for good. Hari took his revenge and left us with perhaps one of the best knockouts in fight history. Enjoying it just as much as we are. In the semifinal round of the 2008 K1 World Grand Prix, Bad Hari nearly made his end when he got dropped by the bone crusher Errol Zimmerman. Under two minutes remaining here in the second. Spinning heel shin. Right hand leads him left over the top of the right glove. Good combination. What I love about Bada is very explosive for very explosive. Oh, 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 oh
Hurry's head snapped back and he crashed to the canvas. But, showing legendary toughness, the Dutch Moroccan rallied back and would finish Zimmerman with a round three thunderous knockout. They are absolutely up. Zimmerman's face on eight. Oh, nice right hand counter from Butter Hurry. Looks to fire the right hand and again eats the leather off the leader. Butter's yeah, is so oh. sharp. And he drops him in the jab! Yeah. Well, no, not the referee. He upended him with the jab. Beautifully done. They're just too damn fast for him. But still, it goes, it can go both ways. Oh, the big shot again on the right hand! Throwing caution to the wind, sticking jab again. Butter's Butter wow. Hurry, foot meets mouth! Great champion. When Bad Hari faced the Korean Hongman Choi, he proved that size doesn't matter as his opponent was literally a seven feet tall giant. The entire bout saw both fighters exchanging blows, with Choi depending more on strength and Hari more on speed. In the second round, the Korean caught Hari with a left that sent him to the canvas. Hari didn't give up though, and went on to punish the head and body of the giant in hopes of breaking him down. And after the third round, the Koreans corner threw in the towel, indicating that they wanted no more of Bad Hari. Да. Wanting to prove his toughness at its showtime, Bad Hari took on the Turkish Gokan Saki, who was believed to be a tough opponent for the Moroccan finale. And after a very hard fought early round, the Turkish kickboxer's body eventually gave up. Bad Hari was a controversial figure. Inside the ring, he was a monster and knew how to lock in his emotions, but unfortunately, he didn't know when to turn them off outside the ring and was criticized heavily by the fighting world. Whether you like it or not, he is without a doubt up there with the likes of Mike Tyson, John Jones, and many others as the baddest men to ever live.